Yes guys, my name is Morsi and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are checking out one of the new players as part of the Denmark Nations SBC. We have some absolutely mental looking cards. The lab we're checking out is the Barca boy himself, Braithwaite. So guys, as I'm recording this player view, Italy are about to play Spain in the first Euro 2020 semi-final. I don't know who, I don't know who's gonna win it. I'm confident Italy have been playing well. However, I have that weird feeling, that funny feeling that Spain out of nowhere are gonna cause an absolute madness. But the card we are checking out today is part of a brand new SBC that has just been dropped upon us. Is the Denmark Nation Players SBC, and it is the boy Martin Braithwaite. You can kind of see his card there. We'll go into some more detail shortly. But to unlock this man, it is an 85 overall team, 55 chem, and one the Liga Santander player. So not too expensive, but at the moment, fodder is a little bit more on the premium uh, price bracket, purely because the amount of SBCs that are being dropped, some crazy cards. EA is slowly, they're getting back into the groove of things, releasing some mad content. But the other boys, we do have a Striger Larsen. And this dude's first name is pretty damn epic. I've never seen that before in my life. We will check out these guys' attributes as well, just before we dive into the brave for review. And then finally, a Thomas Delaney. This man, when the game came out, he had an inform. Pretty confident this issue. It's like an 86, maybe an 84, a little bit lower. And that guy carried my midfield early weekend league games. And you only need an 86 overall team for this card, which is by the looks of it at first glance pretty crazy. And then it is an 83 for Larson. So let's go look at the attributes for all these boys and then let's dive into the juicy player view. So we'll start off with the man that I am reviewing today. We've got Martin Braithwaite. This guy is a pure OG. He's had some sick cards throughout the years. Medium high work rates, which is slightly interesting, but I'll talk a bit more why I think that is a good trait to have uh, in a little bit. Five foot ten, four star, four star, right footed, happy days all around. And the attributes, the finishing is fantastic. All shooting stats across the board are top tier. Pace, you can't really uh, complain too much about it. You can boost it with a little chem style to max it out to 99. So being medium high work rates means he is more prone to dropping back. Being more of the link up striker, depending on the formation you're playing. And the passing stats show that. 95 short pass is perfect for the ping pong passing. The crossing, the vision, the rest of the passing stats are fantastic for a striker. He also has really, really top tier free kick accuracy, which we shall hopefully test out in today's video. Dribbling wise, agility is great, balance and reactions aren't anything to shout about. Same with the rest of dribbling stats, they are pretty consistent, but for this stage of the game, you would want a little bit higher. So maybe a chem style that will boost that up or a balance if it does increase those stats. 96 heading accuracy, which is good. The man clearly can hit the target with his head. Physical wise, the jumping is okay. The stamina is okay. And the rest of the physical stats are okay. Strength is good. Aggression is a little bit on the low side, but we'll see if that really affects the card later on. And then the player traits, all we've really got is flair. Speed dribbler, CPU, AI, and playmaker is also a CPU, AI trait. Up next, we've got Yen Striger Larsen. The man has three star skills, which for me doesn't tick a box. I like four star skills. I am prone to sweating out champs, guys. Lack of care skill cancel is engraved in my mind. If he doesn't have four star skills, I'm gonna struggle. But the stats itself are pretty damn epic. Considering it's only an 83 overall team to unlock this card, he is 92 overall as it stands. Attack positioning, shot power all maxed out. The rest of the shooting stats are great. The pace is fantastic. Passing, also very good. The free kick accuracy is absolutely atrocious. I don't know, this guy is absolutely horrific at taking free kicks in the real world. If you are a fan of Udinese or watch any of last, then let me know down below. I'm intrigued to know why that is so low. Dribbling looks good for a man who's six foot. To have all like low to mid 90s is great across the card. Composure's a little bit on the low side. That may affect the card going forward. But he has a bit of defensive and decent physical stats. 99 stamina, which is great for a right mid. He could probably work quite well as a right wing back or a right mid in a 3-5-2 or 5-3-2. Purely for the stamina getting up and down. He has a little bit defensively and going forward he has quality. And player traits... He's a solid player. And then the last man you can unlock, the 86 overall team. And this guy's stats, by the way, I had a little glimpse earlier. Mad. Six foot, low, high, left footed, four star, four star. Happy days all round. And look at these attributes. The defending, 99 interceptions without a boost. The rest of the defending stats are mid, about mid 90s either side. Uh, physicals, 99 stamina, 88 strength, 94 aggression, insane. Passing stats, 95 short pass, 98 long pass, and the rest of the stats are great. Even going forward, he has 89 finishing, 92 attack positioning, 96 shot power, the long shots are there. Pace is pretty respectable. You will definitely be boosting that with the chem style if you unlock this card. 
and the dribbling stats are all mid to high 90s, which is absolutely epic. And considering this is an 86 overall uh, team to unlock the card, that's crazy. I, for one, will definitely be getting this guy in for the weekend league if I decide to play it this weekend. But these are the boys that you can unlock via the SBC. Let's dive in a little bit deeper and check out the team we're going to be using with Braithwaite. Here we go. Martin Braithwaite fits in perfectly alongside the Path to Glory Griezmann card. We got ourselves a Hugo Sanchez from the Prime Moments pack that was dropped yesterday. I don't know really what to think about it, but give him a good, give him a good go in this one, that's for sure. Calvin Phillips keeps his place in the midfield with Coutinho and Kaka is purely here as a stopgap for the chemistry. He will be subbed out as soon as the game starts. The back four is sweat central. We got KT, Prime Momus Desai and Babu and Lazaro. Yeah, I know, dirty. Right back at centre back, it is what it is. And then Noya is our goalkeeper. In regards to custom tactics, we are using my, my usual, my go-to. Press after possession loss, five width and seven depth. The formation is a 4-3-1-2. Braithwaite is obviously going to be played as a striker alongside Big Hugo. Greasy Grease is in our little cam spot in the middle. Kaka, Phillips, Coutinho across the midfield three. As I said, Kaka will be subbed out at the start. And the back four, of course, stays the same. So I'm currently sat at about 2200 skill total in Div 1. I've not played too much over the weekend. I played a little bit Friday night, but I barely touched the game since then. So I'm going to be a little bit rusty. I'm not warming up, they're going straight into this one. I'm going to play two or three matches with Braithwaite, truly test him out and see if he is worth the unlock. Take in mind, it's only an 85 overall team, so not even that expensive. I'm going to see if he does a solid job, if the medium high work rates really affect the card too much, and if he should unlock the man. I'm going to compile all the clips into a montage, and I'll catch up with you afterwards. So there we have it guys, five goals, two assists in three matches. Me being absolutely stupid, decided not to press start record on the second game I played. We won it 3-2, Braithwaite did score himself two goals and he actually probably played the best in that game uh, compared to the other two matches that you would have seen in that montage, which is unfortunate, but we live and learn from our mistakes. 
Overall, straight away, the work rates are seriously noticeable in game. You try and activate the give and go passes with left bumper and you just notice him dropping back a little bit more regularly than you would like him to, I guess. I'm used to using Mbappe up top and the give and go runs and him breaking in behind, it's just, it's lightning. With Braithwaite, it's a little bit difficult. You kind of got to get used to the fact that he doesn't want to bomb forward too much and you can definitely make the most of his playmaking ability and use him as that playmaker, the drop-off striker. Once I got into the groove of that, I noticed it being a lot more easier to kind of get him involved, give him the ball, lay it off, make runs around him, and overall, super fun card. For an 85 overall team, I would say 100% worth the, the price to lock the SPC. Is he end game enough to fit into my team? If you've got the likes of team of season and Mbappe, some crazy icon moments, you might struggle, but he does offer that little something different. And that is what a lot of people are looking for towards this stage of FIFA. The content is drying out as it stands. I, for one, have been getting a little bit fed up with some of the SBCs that have been dropped recently. I mean, it's decent content, but it's a bit stale. We need that new game. We are in July, guys. If you want to mix it up, getting some Danish boys, Braithwaite and Delaney are 100% recommendations. I will be unlocking Delaney as well. Just a heads up. You may see a player view. If not, just know he's going to be on my team for the weekend league. Price-wise, I'm going to give a solid 8.5 out of 10. And playing-wise, he's going to get a solid 8.5 out of 10. A big fat 8.5 combined. Super fun card to use, guys. Do let me know down below if you've unlocked any of the Danish boys, which one you have preferred, and if Braithwaite is making it into your team for the weekend. And can I? Can we just... We need to touch on it. England played Denmark tomorrow. Who's winning? Is it coming home? Are we reaching a Euro Finals? Please, come on the boys. Anyway, guys, I've been Morsi. I hope you enjoyed as always. If you are watching the Euros tonight and tomorrow, enjoy it. Make the most of international football. It's always good fun. Fingers crossed England can get to a final and beat Braithwaite and his boys tomorrow. But until next time, guys, take care of yourself and I'll catch you soon. Take it easy.